Of the many thousands of man-made chemicals that have been introduced into the environment, over 1,000 are known to be neurotoxins. Hundreds of these, both synthetic and naturally occurring, are commonly encountered in daily life. Although our bodies are designed to naturally eliminate these unwanted substances, now, in the 21st century, we're exposed to far more chemicals than ever before in history, and our bodies simply can't keep up to the demands of clearing and eliminating them. This leads to toxin accumulation within the body, which often results in both central and peripheral nervous system damage. In this video, I'm gonna discuss where these chemicals come from, how they get into our bodies, and the five most toxic nerve destroyers that you're exposed to. Stay with me, it's gonna be good. Health Explorer. I'm Dr. Coppola, the Nerve Doctor. If you've been told your neuropathy is permanent, I'm here to help you break through to new levels of health you've never dreamed possible. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button for up-to-date and accurate information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to overcome it. Also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you get notified when I publish new content. On to today's video, the top five nerve destroyers. Toxic chemicals are everywhere. They're found in the water we drink, in processed foods that we eat, kitchen items, toiletries, cosmetics, and even household products that we use every day. These chemicals are simply piling up too fast for the body to eliminate them, and they can damage and destroy nerves, which is why they're called neurotoxins or nerve poison. Here's how they enter our body. We consume them in the many foods we eat. Plastic containers will leach chemicals into our food and beverages. The water that we drink is loaded with chemicals like chlorine, fluoride, heavy metals, and even pharmaceutical drugs. We're also exposed by using aluminum cookware, household cleaners, personal care products, makeup, perfumes and colognes, and these are just to name a few of the things. The list is actually much more extensive than this. Well, Today, I want to go over the top five nerve destroyers that you may be exposed to without even knowing. These chemicals may be worsening your peripheral neuropathy symptoms and slowing down the repair process. Okay, let's begin with nerve destroyer number five, diacetyl. Every year, Americans eat 17 billion quarts of popcorn. Why am I telling you this? Because all commercially produced popcorn will contain this harmful chemical. Diacetyl is used as a flavoring agent in commercial food industry, and large quantities of this chemical are found in microwavable popcorn and any processed food that contains butter flavor. It's also used as a flavoring agent in butter, butter sprays, margins, shortenings, oil, and oil sprays. The chemical not only damages your nerve, but it also causes significant damage to your lungs as well. My recommendation? skip the microwavable popcorn and go back to the good old fashioned way of popping corn, stovetop. That's what we do with ours. Okay, nerve destroyer number four, mercury. This is one of the most pervasive heavy metals we're dealing with in the 21st century, and it can poison and kill nerves. It can be found in our mouths in the form of silver fillings, our food, ocean, soils, drinking water, because of the pollution in our lakes, streams, and oceans, large fish now contain high levels of mercury in their body. Fish that contain the highest level of mercury and should be avo avoided in your diet are mackerel, marlin, orange roughy, swordfish, grouper, bluefish, sea bass, barramunda, and tuna, which includes bluefish, big eye, ahi, yellowfin, and canned albacore. Now, another source of mercury comes from silver fillings in your mouth, also known as dental amalgams. These cause significant health issues and many countries like Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Germany have actually banned the use of these fillings. In 2018, the European Union implemented a complete ban on mercury silver fillings in teens under 15 
and in pregnant and nursing women. Needless to say, it's important to have these fillings removed immediately, whether you have peripheral neuropathy or not, because mercury can, be, can do serious damage to your kidneys, liver, and your immune system. But here's something you need to know. Removing them incorrectly can cause larger amounts of mercury to spill into your body. Because of this, you don't want to get silver amal amalgams removed by any ordinary dentist. It's imperative that you allow only a biological dentist to remove them. This dentist should be certified either IAOMT or SMART certified. This stands for Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique. More and more evidence has surfaced linking multiple sclerosis with silver mercury fillings. There's a very informative documentary available on Amazon called Evidence of Harm that will shed quite a bit of light on the topic. Okay, on to nerve destroyer number three, aluminum. Aluminum is a strong neurotoxin which can damage peripheral nerves in the feet or legs or in the hands and arms. Along with this, it can also cross the blood-brain barrier and accumulate in the brain where it can do extensive harm leading to Alzheimer's and other cognitive disease. So how are we exposed to aluminum? Well, if your cookware contains any aluminum in it, whether it's in the cooking surface or the core of the pan or pot, you may be exposed. Also, if you drink out of aluminum cans or you purchase foods in aluminum cans like soups, vegetables, tomatoes, canned meats like tuna, salmon, or chicken, you're being exposed to leached aluminum. Now here's a big one that most people don't think about. If you use aluminum foil on your foods, the aluminum will leach into your food. Dr. Montero and I eliminate the use of foil whenever possible. When we have to use it, we never allow the aluminum foil to come into contact with the food. We always place a layer of parchment paper over the food before we cover it with foil. But these aren't the only sources of aluminum exposure. You can also be exposed by using or consuming baking powder. By the way, there is one called Rumford baking powder that's verified to be aluminum free. Flour, coloring agents, anti-caking agents all have aluminum. Tap water, pharmaceutical drugs, antacids, buffered aspirin, deodorants and antiperspirants, cosmetics, and even pesticides. If you want to learn more about safe substitutes that don't contain aluminum, visit the Environmental Working Group's website. I'll leave a link in the description below. They do an excellent job at providing you with the resources to let you know which products are safe. Next, nerve destroyer number two, aspartame. Aspartame is a popular artificial sweetener found in diet sodas, processed foods that are labeled as sugar-free, and those little blue packets that go by the brand names Equal and NutraSweet. This artificial sweetener is the worst offender when it comes to nerve damage for both peripheral nerves and the brain. In fact, I had one patient, a 39-year-old dance instructor, who had developed peripheral neuropathy from drinking a few cans of diet soda every day for the past few years. And guess what? It was sweetened with aspartame. Well, research has also revealed that aspartame can worsen or increase the risk of developing diabetes, cardiovascular disease, non-alcoholic fatty, fatty liver disease, hormone-related cancers like breast, ovary, and endometrium, prostate, testicular, and even thyroid cancer. It can also worsen and increase the risk of developing fibromyalgia, Alzheimer's disease, and multiple sclerosis. Consumers have reported over 7,000 aspartame adverse side effects to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and yet it's still on the market. There's also a major study involving over 250,000 soda drinkers that discovered that drinking artificially sweetened soft drinks significantly increased the likelihood of depression. A safe alternative to artificial sweetener is monk fruit sweetener, which is derived from a small melon-like fruit called monk fruit. The sweetener contains zero calories and it has zero glycemic index and it's completely safe for diabetics. It's always best to buy this in, the, in an, the liquid form. The powder form has undergone a greater degree of processing. And now for nerve destroyer number one, MSG, monosodium glutamate. 
is a flavor enhancer often added to restaurant foods, canned vegetables, soups, deli meats, and almost all commercially prepared and packaged foods. The worst offender includes canned soup, salty snacks, ramen noodles, and refined soy products. The problem with MSG is that it's a neurotoxin, a chemical that poisons the nerves. And even worse, it overstimulates or overexcites the nerves to the point of damage or death. This can lead to brain damage, which can trigger diseases like Alzheimer, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's disease, and even learning disabilities. These diseases are central nervous system. However, MSG doesn't stop there. It also has the ability to do significant nerve damage to peripheral nerves through the same mechanism of overstimulation. So what this boils down to is not only can it trigger the onset of peripheral neuropathy, but it can also severely worsen the symptoms if you already have it. The U.S. National Library of Medicine lists the symptoms arising from what's called the MSG symptoms complex as ranging anywhere from mild to life-threatening. Fortunately, this has become such a hot topic that consumers have become very wise about the dangers of MSG and typically try and avoid it. Unfortunately, large corporations are aware of this and with the permission of the FDA, they've been allowed to label it under different names so that the buyers are unaware that they're purchasing foods with MSG. So it's imperative that you become aware of the different names MSG can be disguised under. If you see any of these terms, it always indicates that there's hidden MSG. The first one is natural flavors. Now, I'm not going to comment on each of these names, but this one is so deceptive that I have to mention it. When you see the word natural flavors in the ingredients of any product, you can be guaranteed there's absolutely nothing that's natural about the flavor. The FDA has allowed commercial food and beverage industry to list MSG under the term since glutamate is a naturally occurring amino acid. The FDA never required the commercial food industry to disclose that once the amino acid is complex with sodium and used in astronomical proportions, it does substantial harm to the nervous system. Steer clear of anything that has natural flavor in it. Other terms that are used to hide MSG are autolyzed yeast and autolyzed plant protein, calcium or sodium caseinate, hydrolyzed plant protein, or hydrolyzed protein, or hydrolyzed vegetable protein, textured protein, yeast extract or yeast foods, gelatin. Now these next terms frequently indicate hidden MSG additives, natural beef or chicken flavoring, bouillon, malt extract, malt flavoring, seasoning or spices, this is only a partial list. I've included an extensive list in my book, Defeat Neuropathy Now in Spite of Your Doctor. You can also search the internet for a more comprehensive list. Deciding to avoid these chemicals is imperative for the recovery of your peripheral neuropathy. But it's equally important for maintaining overall health and eliminating triggers of neurological diseases for anyone. The best way to eliminate these neurotoxins is by becoming aware of them and then making a conscious decision to avoid them. This will take some effort on your part at first, but it gets easier with time and becomes second nature. Your nerves will thank you for it in the end. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this information and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to like us because it really helps us grow our channel. Also. Please share this information with anyone that you know is suffering with peripheral neuropathy. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Let's begin with nerve destroyer number five. Di yeah, okay. <laughs> JK. Every year, Americans eat. <laughs> Can you move it for me? Diacetyl is used as a flavoring agent in commercial food in industry that have large quantities. Dang it.